And we back. This is my last chance ever to go 82 and 0. I definitely want to go out with a bang. The last chance ever of going 82 and 0. I'm going to stop in 3 and 2 and in 1. We're running with the Houston Rockets today. Now, I am one of the few people uh Rockets, Rockets, Rockets. Come on, Rockets. Come on, Rockets. Oh, 19th pick. Okay. I'm one of the few people that does rebuilds on the platform that is yet to go 82 and 0 traditionally. Now, we have done it when we've tinkered with some stats and tinkered with some settings and stuff, but we have never done it completely 50s across the board, and hopefully today is the day to get that done. Now you're asking, Kenny, why, why is this the last chance you're going to get to get it done? I, I'm kind of done with 2K, and we'll talk about that throughout the course of this video. Let's see who's on our team. We have Kyrie Irving. We have Bam Adebayo. We have Kobe White. We have Russell Westbrook. I would assume so we got some bulls in here. That's kind of cool, kind of not um how do i want to play this okay i think it is very important that we set ourselves up for the 82 and 0 push to be in three years four years i want to see if i can trade for victor Wimby. he plays for the wizards right now wizards fans you actually could have got Wimby. um well it would have taken a lot to get there but I, it, it, it was possible so we give them bam we give them kobe do you have bad contracts you had davis bertans's contract we'll take that what other bad contracts you got? Kevin Hurd is only a 76. I guess technically that counts. And then you also got Vucevic, Gabe Vincent and stuff. So we'll give you uh, Io DeSumo on top of that. We'll give you Kyrie Irving. They got to make up 18 million. That's a lot. So I kind of want to trade Bam out of bio for a person. Does, does the contract kick in for Darius yet? For, yeah, it did. Dang, I need some smaller contracts of players that are really, really good still. And a lot of people are seeing are oh alperin sangoon has not signed his extension just yet so alp is an option uh trade number 12 lamello's contract has not kicked in yet lamello's probably the best player we can get that has not had his max extension kick in just yet so lamello ball woke up to the team and we're gonna trade you unfortunately for um for victor webby i think that's where my head is at we also could get evan mobley yeah yeah we're trading both of them for victor webby this is gonna be a big trade potentially um, how is LaMelo only full star value? Not even four and a half star value. He's only four star value. Uh, give us Davis Bertans back and I'm willing to give up all of the, oh my God, our picks are good. Our picks are good. Come on. There it is. Victor Wimbyama. Yes, I gave up two very, very, that team is going to be a team that's going to be good in the near future for sure. But that was a necessity for us. Now the rest, Fred Van Vliet and all these dudes, I need to go get other first round picks because I want to have the number one pick in this year's draft too. I, I ain't looked at the draft just yet, but I'm hoping that there's a generational talent either this year or next year that we could pair Luka, uh, we could pair uh, uh, Victor Wembanyama. that's who we got, with. So I'm going to do a bunch of different trades like uh, bringing in Jamal Murray to start off with and flipping Jamal Murray for a high first round pick and so on and so forth until this team is very bad. We actually, yeah, we did trade away our own first, but we might be able to get our own first back real quick. Let me try. Rockets first is only three-star value now because because uh, we brought in Jamal Murray, I guess. We'll give them Kobe White, which hurts my soul because, Kobe, we want to keep you on the team. You give us back Kevin Herter's contract. They're going to say no to this, obviously. We give them, do we have any other young players? You want Ote Abaji, one and a half star. Ayodosumu and Ajax are, are two star and two and a half star, so we give them Ayodosumu too. They say no. Get it. Give us Conley. We give you back Murray. You, get, you still got to make up a million. Oh, my God. Give us Romeo Langford. Boom. We got our pick back. Okay, perfect. So now we can tank without consequence. This is our pick to have, which is perfect. The rest of these people, I'm going to trade away for more draft capital, whether it be for the future, whether it be for the now. I don't really know. The idea is to look at the, the draft class, hopefully draft somebody that's really good, and use their remaining first-round picks to go get um, another star. And then, boom, we might have a future big three. And then we can let the rest of the pieces fall where they may. But Wimby, I'm sorry, we're gonna put you in a situation where you are on a bad team again, at least until next year. Now, again, let's get let's get back to it being the last ch chance I go 82 and 0. Um, I have been doing 2K videos for on and off for a decade. Um, we did have a period of time where we were doing a bunch of quizzes and stuff. We actually uploaded a video a couple days ago of us getting back to the roots because that was kind of the inception of this channel and stuff. And that was a lot of fun. I have not been having a lot of fun on 2K. I think some of y'all may have noticed it. Um, the, the amount of content that we've produced over the last five months has been down because 2K, I'll say this again, is a bad game. 
that the only reason I play it is because I love basketball and I love making videos. But it's got to the point now where I'm not enjoying the game anymore. And I think as long as I'm not enjoying the game, I feel like the content's not going to be great. So I'm about to have a lot of fun in making videos that, that I'm proud of and stuff like that. Uh, and a lot of that is going to be off of 2K. And that's why I want to go out on a bang. Like if this is going to be the last 2K video, I don't know if it is, but if it is the last 2K video that we produce, I want it to be something that we can be proud of and saying that we finally, finally did it. Um, after all of these years of us attempting, our team is almost as bad as it can get. Um, I don't need to go 0-82. This is not an 0-82 to 82 and no challenge. It's just the 82 and no challenge. So, you know, we can win some games. We don't need to completely bottom out. Um, but I'm trying to just try trying to get as many first round picks as I can. So we'll bring in TJ McConnell, who's an 80 overall. Shout out to TJ. And then we'll flip TJ. There's going to be a team out there willing to give us a first round pick for 80 overall point guard who's really good. So uh, and then we might just start our simulation process. There's Zach Levine, but they want to switch picks. There's an unprotected in 2027. Anytime I see an unprotected pick, I'm excited about it. I don't know if that team's going to be good. Hell, I don't even remember what team it was that we just made that trade with. But a, a, a first round pick that's unprotected, I don't care if we got to give up a second to get there. Boom, we got another one. So right now, the team is Wimby. It's Miles McBride, it's Romeo Langford, it's Troy Brown Jr., it's Tory Craig. The last thing I want to do is because we have so many first round picks, I want to go out to get some scouts, get some scouts that we can say like, hey, we trust you with getting the right intel about these, these prospects and stuff. All right, so we got some scouts, we got a bad team. Let's go out there and lose a bunch of games. Wimby's going to help us win a few. You know, he's Victor Wembanyama, but other than that, um, it should just be a lot, a lot of L. This looks so weird to have Jokic in this jersey, but he wins MVP. Wimby averaged 30 as a rook. And we didn't even give him a crazy amount of minutes. Like, minutes per game was 33. He averaged 30. That's why we need to pair him with another star. I don't know if that's even possible. He wins ZPO as well. It's a perfect way to start the video, man. The perfect way to start the video is having Wimby be all NBA first team as a rookie. Yeah, we won a total of 19 games, so that's perfect. That should be the worst in the league. Maybe it's not, but it should be the worst in the league, and that would mean that we have the highest odds or tie for the highest odds for the first overall pick. It's Kyrie versus Giannis in the finals, and Giannis and company wins. Cool. LeBron's trying to retire on us. We say no. Here we go. Draft lottery. Draft lottery, baby. Do we have anybody else's pick? The Orlando Magic pick, the Atlanta Hawks pick, and the Utah Jazz pick are all in the lottery, and we still don't get the first pick. <laughs> We still didn't get the first pick. We got the second pick. And there's a guy in this draft that we are trading up for. Um, his name. Oh, I didn't see the center here. No, this guy's 14 badges. Nico Stojic from uh, from Lithuania. His ceiling is Hall of Fame. His floor is a starter. So there's a big range, but he starts off as an 81. So we're going to go ahead and trade for that first overall pick, man. We're not even going to think twice about it. Kings, Kings, you take the second pick. You take the 13th pick. Get out of here with a deal. <laughs> To move up one spot only cost us the end of a lottery pick. That sounds amazing. Here we go. Nico Stojic, welcome to Houston, baby. You win at number 17. I'm okay with that. They take Stuart Chandler second overall. We'll see how he compares to Nico. And we have another pick. Um, we can go. This guy is bad, but he has a high ceiling. This guy has a high ceiling. So we be going high ceiling? Yeah, right? Because that's going to be the best chance that we get somebody for the low that can help us out. This guy's from Illinois. Jerry Lucas at AC Green. He gonna play every single game I see, but he can't really shoot and he's a four man. I don't like that. This guy has Scotty Pippen ceiling. He's 23 already, he, but he's got Scotty ceiling and he's 23. That feels, that's fake. That's fake. I ain't trusting it. I'm gonna draft the guy with the highest potential. I don't know what that means just yet, but we about to find out because he's probably gonna get traded the way I think about it. Um, actually, we just draft the best player and it might be this guy, Alvin Bishop. He can shoot. He cannot defend the safest life. This guy can play, make, and hit the midi. Nicholas Thompson, welcome to the team, man. We're definitely not keeping him around. I'm sorry he's not staying. The agency is what? Who's here? Braun is here. That doesn't help us out this year. We're not going 82 and 0 this year. Um, unless... No, he's, he's going back to the Lake Show. Okay, okay, okay. Paul George is here. He's just going to be too expensive. He's going to the Clippers. Uh, it looks like Tyrese Max has got some good offers. Pascal Siakam's 30. I feel like we should be using this money, this cap space we got. So let's go to look at the worst teams in the league, including the Clips, who, yeah, about to get Paul George. They got Jalen Green. The Kings, who we made the trade with, has Paolo Bencaro and Alperin Shingun. That's kind of cool. Three-star value for uh, Nicholas Thompson. So that's cool. Is there a world we could just snag a real, like, can we somehow snag Luka? I mean, we got all the picks in the world. So I'm assuming that could help. 
Uh, our own first round pick is somewhat valuable, a two star. Yeah, we don't have enough top end talent to even have them think about it. But maybe Lucas off the table, but maybe a guy like Shea might be on the table. Like something like that. Just immediately jump in and be a really good team and then let the young dude progress so they have like a real big three. There's Shea, same offer. They're a championship contender. They say no. There's really no rush, but I was just curious. Anthony Edwards is a 92, same offer. They still, yeah. I think there's a world we can make that happen eventually, but all of those teams in the offseason don't believe that they have to make a trade. And I understand that. So let's just use this cap space where we have right now. And we're actually going to bring in Pascal Siakam on a three-year deal, but we're definitely trading him like at the deadline, either this year or next year. Like that's not, he's not here for the long run. Wimby's a 93, by the way. So that's fun. And Pascal did not regress at the age of 30. I feel like that was a good offseason. I feel like that was a really, really good offseason. Um, we have we have a team. It's not a very good team, but it's a team. You know, we have like real NBA players in our lineup. We got one too many uh, players. So who we drop? Tory Craig. Sorry, buddy. It's got to be you. You're just too old at this point. All right. So we got a full roster. Again, it's not an amazing team. It's uh, interesting, I guess. Uh, yeah. But we will check in on these teams. We're going to see which one of our picks have good value and so on and so forth. But you see the way we started. These boys are good already. Wimby, ignore the change of outfit. Had stuff to do. All right. So Zion is on the Celtics, who are a bad team. We're a bad team, too. We're 20 and 31. It's fine. Tyrese Maxey's also on the bad team. He's having a ridiculous season. One of these two dudes is ending up on my team, okay? The Celtics is the, the one I'm curious about the most. I think Zion and Wimby would look pretty nice together as our future front court. I already said Pascal Siakam wasn't a long-term goal here. And I know that Zion's not done progressing either. We got a magic pick whoa whoa one second we're going out there to try to get one of the top end dudes if that pick is going to be that valuable if that pick is that valuable the thunder pick is two star value i'm trying to get a top guy some of these top guys are on good teams so it's going to be hard to pry them away but i'm gonna try john Morant's a 97 right now he's a 97 i don't know his team could be the best team in the league i couldn't tell you but this pick might make them think it they're a championship contender team ah tough now a lot of these teams are probably going to have that i'm going to try an extra pick I'm going to try the young fella, which is uh, this guy who's, I don't know if he's having a good season, but uh, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, they're still not going for it. All right, worth the try. It was definitely worth the try. Giannis is only 30. Tried that exact same trade for Giannis. Uh, they say no, but at least they're not a championship contender. They're willing to maybe talk to us a little bit. We give them our pick too. No, they're not interested. They're not really interested. That's fine. You know, we got to try to get the Luka trade happening. They say no to that. We give them the Grizzly pick too. They say no. Okay. You know, I, I think I have to keep trying this. I'm not giving up our top dude, but Peyton Watson, maybe. But they're they not interested either. What if I did just Trey Finder, right? Pascal in that pick. Nothing else. Shat and Zach Levine. Jalen Brunson, Jaron Jackson. Jalen Brown, Tari Eason. A lot of these trades are interesting. The Palo Ben Carroll trade is really interesting, too. Um, I don't know what his ceiling is in game, so I'm going to kind of stay away from that. We do get Kevin Durant, but he's 36. Now, you can say to yourself, Kenny, you trade for Kevin. And you throw Kevin in the trade find, you're probably going to get something that you want. There's Steph Curry, but he's 36 as well. He's regressing already. I'm going to do the Kevin Durant trade, right? Do the Kevin Durant trade. I didn't even scout this year. This could have another generational talent that I just kind of fumbled. Did we, no, okay, no. He's he, The first overall pick is not even something we care about. So now we go Kevin Durant in the pick that we got. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. Big Yoke, welcome to the team. Wimby, you're a four. Your overall is going to go down by one. I could not care less. We got our front court of the now and of the future. Boom. With with the Stolzik guy who's still, what, what are you looking like this season? 14, 6, and 6. Love that. Yes, we got it. And we got Jeremy Sohan here who's going to want an extension this year, but we're okay with that. We're okay with that. What a trade. What a trade. Luka wins MVP. Oh, we didn't even get rookie of the year. Junior O'Brien got a fifth overall pick. All right. Well, he got a bunch of rebounds and stuff. He was actually really good. Shout out to him. But can we get, okay. We got two All NBA players on the first team, that we, and we didn't make the playoffs. A uh, 41 and 41, yeah, we didn't even make the playoffs. We got two All NBA first team players. It's got to be the first time this ever happened in NBA history. But I feel really good about our future. A lot of it goes on Stojic and how good of a player he can end up being. Um, the Bulls made it to the finals and lost to Luka Doncic. You again, we tried to trade for. As you can see, they was not budget because why would they? They, they? they were the best team in the league. So that pick we gave away did end up falling to the first overall pick. Wow, Luka for the first, I mean, I'm sorry, Jokic for the first overall pick. I'll do it time and time again. You will not convince me that was a bad trade because it wasn't. Trading Jokic for a 22-year-old uh, point guard, that's a 76. 100% of the time we're doing it over and over again. Um, so that's a dub. Our second round pick is better than our first round pick right now. So that's cool too. 
you know, we got to keep drafting players and hope that they turn into greats. This guy, don't think he will, so we'll let him go. Oh, Max, I, I, I'm going to let you go too because you're not going to get real PT on my team. So I'm going to let him go so he can go out and find him a real job where he can play real minute. And I still got Nicholas Thompson on the team, right? We drafted him early last year, and I don't know how he's going to progress or anything like that. But I'm very curious to what that mark, because right now we basically just got Jokic's contract. Nobody else is under contract long term. So this is the time to go get another max type player. Uh, so we just have to find out who that is. Hopefully a w we need to go wing for sure. Again, I don't know what Stojic's progression is going to look like, but we need to go go a wing. And it don't have to be a superstar wing, but it will help. It would definitely help as a superstar wing. So let's see what we got. The small four position don't have a ton of 90 pluses. So we can go shooting guard. Yeah, we can, we can go shooting guard because that, that, would, that would fit. Anthony Edwards, I guess, is a possibility. Tatum is a free agent right now, so that's not a possibility. Um, Kawhi is 34. I don't know if we want him on the, on the team with that contract. Paolo Bancaro, again, we don't know what he progresses into, but I'm sure he's not going to be as expensive as, like, uh, Jalen Brown, who's a 91, or even an Anthony Edwards, who's a 92. So we got our work cut out for us. We got to figure out exactly who we get. So contractually, we got there, right? Contractually, we got there. Obviously, Anthony Edwards is worth a lot more than that. Let's see if these picks are good. Hawks, two-star value. Grizzlies, one, one and a half star. Yeah, a lot of these picks won't show their real value until we see what these teams look like next season. So what I think we do is a trade up, right? So we use Gabe Vincent and uh, Alec, Alec Burks' contract and our own first round pick. Because we know that pick ain't going to be on nothing because we're going to be good this year. To trade for somebody that's making $23 million or something like that. And keep doing that till we get like a max player. Um, there's a 28, but it's Wiggins. Uh, don't know if I want that because that that is not very tradable. Hopefully, can we get it done without the first rounder? They tried the finesse, bro. They tried the finesse. But I took the first round away. They said, "All right, bet we just want Wiggins off the team." Wow, Shaden Sharp is an 85 right now on a rookie deal. That's too good to pass up on, right? Now we will have to pay Wimby, and we will have to pay Stojic, and we will have to pay Shaden Sharp next season. That's pretty good i'm keeping it in the back yeah this is goes against everything i just said but that's just too good to pass up on that was just too good to pass up on I, personally so shade sharp's on the team he's a walking bucket shade is sharp walking bucket according to 2k he get murray i can't just get a bunch of people J Dub, but he don't progress the way you want him to. I can't just keep getting a bunch of people on rookie contracts. We need like solidified players that are on deals longer than one year. Like we need somebody that's under contract for multiple, multiple seasons that we can trust to stay around. And that's not the case if we take Jeremy. So instead of Jeremy, let's let's throw Miles McBride in there. Let's throw Miles McBride. In. I'm gonna trade for Nurkic and Gigi Jackson. That's just a trade to do a trade. Here's Darius Garland. Now DG to PG. Oh, he don't be hitting the, the, the man. He'd be winning MVP awards earlier in the season. Now, I guess he's not doing that. And they also would have gave us this guy, Sean M M M Moncrief. Whew. Former 15th overall pick who looks like he could be good eventually. He's three and a half star value. Montes Sabonis is the deal we do. Not to keep DeMontis, but to trade DeMontis. This is how we get there. $44 million with that pick they just gave us. Is gonna get us. There's Chet. We don't need Chet, unfortunately. We already got that position filled. There's Larry Marketing on a multi year deal. Um, and he's a wing, and we've been looking for a wing. Dang, the trades ain't too good, bro. There's LaMelo and Bilal Kulabali, which is interesting. But that's not what I want. P. Watt, you might have to go in this trade too. There's LaMelo again. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, there's Jalen Brown. This is basically the deal we were hoping to get. We wanted Jalen Brown. Let's just make sure there's not nobody else. There's Zion. We already got our front court, and he can't really play the three because he don't space. Um, but we will 100% do the the Palo trade is there too. But again, I'm afraid I got to pay him. We Jalen Brown got the biggest contract in NBA history. We ain't got to worry about paying him. He already got paid. Um, even I mean, technically we are paying him, but you get what I'm saying. So right now, our start lineup looks like this, in hopes that. Stolte gets up to at least 85, and then Jeremy should be getting higher and higher too. I always got to make sure there's no stone left unturned. So there's Halliburton. We don't need Halliburton. And let's make sure. Let's see if we throw this Grizzly pick on top of it, if that changed anything. The answer. Do I do the Halliburton trade to flip Halliburton? He's a 94. I'm trying it. There's nothing to lose at this point. You know, this is my last 82 with no challenge. There is nothing to lose. Trade up to Booker. They say No. Okay, one other pick, one other pick, Wizards pick. They still say no. What about our own picks? I don't, again, I don't care about our own picks. 
They say, no, one more. One more of our own picks, and you got a deal. Nah. So I said there's nothing to lose. We are kind of stuck without giving up one of our top dudes. And I don't... <laughs> I don't want to be stuck here. Um, Booker and J-Dub. But we'd have to give up Sharp in this trade. Sharp ceiling. In only in 2K. Sharp ceiling is higher. But I'm a big J-Dub guy. Call it a deal. Call it a deal. All right. So it's actually going to be Booker at the 2. And then we're going to put J-Dub at the 3. He's at 90 almost. That's amazing. And he should progress again. So actually, I love that. Now, we will still have to pay J-Dub Stojic and uh Wimbenyama but, but our top five is elite the, the bench is always going to be bad but we have our mid-level and our mid-level what position is more most important probably back up one because our one is a a, a younger guy so Jalen Noel is here we got Jose Alvarado who's cheaper let's go get Jose player progression is here Wimby's up to a 95 Devin Booker's up to a 95 as well but that's just because we changed the position J-Dub didn't jump up six he actually jumped up two because remember we switched his position from a four to a three and he went up then Stojic jumps up six after his rookie season. He has 34 badges, two-way, three-level playmaker. Jeremy Sohan is getting better. Jose Alvarado at 27, who we just brought in on the minimum, is getting better. And that's that's it. We just also brought in Alex Caruso, who saved the same, which I think that's a good, a really good pickup. We have a 60-plus win team, right? We still are far away from the 82-0. Again, that's what this challenge is. But we'll take what we got right now. I mean, if we really wanted to be ballsy, we could say eight-man rotation. Ain't nobody messing with our top eight. It's a Luke Cornett, <laughs> it's Jose Alvarado, and it's Jeremy Sohan off the bench. Nobody's messing with our top eight, even though Alex Caruso should probably play some. Yeah, let's let's make it a top nine because Caruso deserves minutes. Let me make sure everybody got a secondary position. I am so excited for the season, though. I am so excited. I think this is our best chance to complete our challenge, man. We also drafted Leslie Gray, who is a 6'10 small four, by the way. So keep that in, in the back of your mind. I don't know if he's going to turn into anything, but if he do, just know we drafted a 16 small four because we thought he could be Kevin Durant one day. His ceiling definitely did not say Kevin Durant, but I'm making it a reality somehow. We get to the finals to go against Harry's Halliburton, who we traded away. Hey, we sent him to Indy. He should be happy about that. And we beat them in five. Great. We don't care about that. We do not care about that. We need to make this team better. Uh, we end up with... Uh, no first round picks here. All right. I could. Oh, I may have traded them all the way. Yeah, this is 2026. We have picks in 2027 that we need to worry about. Player progression is going to determine a lot. I really like our core a bunch. Um, Wimby jumps up one. Stojic is a 92. J Dub is a 91. Jeremy is an 84. Um, the bench is bad, but I don't care. We just won 75 games with that same bench. So here's my thought process here's my thought process here's my thought i just signed jeremy to a 30 million dollars annually extension or something like that which is cool you know we need you need good bench players right but we do still have all of these picks to worry about so we might just slowly increase this team so we got to pay stoles this year book is cool vic we got to pay Jokic is cool for another season so we're fine unless we can give them extensions right now Devin Booker and Jokic say they'll resign. So let me get that done before it's too late. Perfect. Perfect. Um, This is, yeah, let me try to see what we can do with Jeremy and a first from the Hawks. Are they good this year? Are they bad? I don't know. Three-star value pick. Three-star value pick. I got two trades that stand out. Got the Alperin Shingun trade. Of course, whoever we trade for is coming off our bench. This guy's not taking Jokic slash Wimby's minutes. Um, He's got a $40 million annually for the next couple years. And they also give us Jaime Jaquez. But we'd have to give up Cole Anthony. Okay. The other trade, I guess there's a couple, is Jamal Murray, one-year deal. Maybe that's not a good one. The next trade, though, is this one. K Cunningham is a 90. We should just go with talent, right? I'm doing it. K Cunningham, welcome to the team. You're going to be the best six men of all time, I guess, because uh, you're not starting over Stojic. Or actually, you might, because y'all are similar overalls. Okay, so yeah, they get Stojic starting still. So that's pretty cool. Um, the rest, they got us Brooke Paxton, who was the eighth overall pick in this draft. No, he's been here for a few seasons, and he averaged 15 last year. Uh, we also got Leslie Gray, who didn't play, but he also only jumped up like one overall this year. You're gone, but I feel like if I can get a good seven, six to seven man rotation, I feel really happy about things. Mac Watts is a center who I'll pass on. Nah, 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 nah. There's Jaime Hawkins again. The only scary thing about the Jaime Hawkins trade is that I don't think we'll be able to re-sign him. So we'd basically be saying, this is our 82-0 season. I'm going to do it. We got we got to go for it, right? I have to take risk if I'm going to complete this challenge. Jaime Hockey is welcome. 
We also got Julian Strother in that trade, which is pretty dope. He's an 80. He's not safe, but he's an 80, which is pretty cool. Alex Caruso started to regress. We're going to try to get him out of here while we can. We're going to trade for Keontae George, not to keep him, but to flip him. He's an 84 overall. He's got a $6 million contract. Throw him and Alec Burks together. Come on. This is the trade. This is the biggest trade. We need a really good center. Really, Jairus Walker's a four, man. That don't really help us. We need a really good center on a rookie deal. Derek Lively and a pick in that one. Derek Lively in the pick might be the move, man. Derek Lively in the pick might be the move. Yes, we're going down and overall. We have to we have to get another center on the roster. Because yeah, it wasn't, it was Christian Wood. I will test the waters of these two together. Again, two rookie contracts probably not gonna get us nothing. There's Brandon Miller. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Again, I fear that or in the start times, I fear that we won't be able to re-sign these dudes, but I have to go for it. I'm saying that this is the year we're going for. This is our year. This is the year for the 82 and 0. Okay? So I will continue to make trades um, until we got no other trades to do. You know, until we got no other first round picks, no seconds, no nothing. I will continue to make trades. Until, why, I'm just trying to fill a roster, man. Y'all ain't got no jobs. Y'all turn it on guaranteed cash. Even Dennis Smith Jr., who's been around, he, he didn't went years or a year without a job, and now he's still saying no. Come on. Like, we got Book, we got Wimby. Um, J Dub, I should probably test the waters on. I should probably just to see, just to see. He's, I think he's safe, but I have to at least check. You got to at least check. I have traded up so much. We got Malik Monk, who's on a 20, and then Scotty Pippa Jr., who's on a seven and a half ish, right? Compa combine those two to go get the best small four power or power forward center that we can off the bench with 27 ish million dollars. That's what the head is at 27 ish million, okay? 27 ish million. Um, Jalen Duran is at 28 million. Add him to the list. Um, Mark Williams is up there too. He's pretty young on this rookie deal too. Again, we don't know if he'd be able to sign him, but I've already said that this is our only year. This is our last year. So I need to stop thinking about that. Go, go for it. Basically go for it. And uh, Jeremy's just not good enough. So, okay. So we need to go trade for Jalen Duran, who plays for the Mavericks right now. Let's pray that the Mavericks do not have a, oh, we believe we're a championship contender. We know, woo, 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 you know, and they got an extra center on the team that they like. They have Mitchell Robinson too. You don't need both of these centers. Send, send one my way. We still got to give up one other player. We need to go. We need to go sign some people. We need to go sign some people. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Just go sign some random people like um, uh, Misic. Misic. Yep. Then we could go get Herman Pickett. Never mind. Herman Pickett, fictional NBA player, just refused to take a job. I cannot believe the type of stuff that be happening in this game. Okay. Now we try it again. Dallas Mavericks. Right. Y'all have an extra center. Why don't you give us one? We'll give you, uh, no, whoa, whoa, not Brandon Miller. We give you Malik Monk. We give you Scottie Pippen. And then we give you Jacob Gilliard. And you got to give us your, your lowest contract. Oh my God, we about to do this. Do we have some, oh man, this is about to be frustrating. Hold on. This is unfortunate, but we have to do one more trade. Combining these dudes to go get one dude that makes more money like Hamidou Diallo. All right, Hamidou Diallo. Well, now I'm calling him up again for the third time for the same trade. There it is. It is Monk. It is Pip. It is Hami. They got to give us back their worst player, which in this case is going to be Chris Dorte. Deal. No first round picks attacks. Oh my God. Now this got me thinking because I still have all these first round picks. I've just been accumulating. Goo Henderson and Asar Thompson. Like, how am I supposed to say no to that trade? How am I supposed to say no to that trade? I know those are not positions of need. I swear I know it's not a position of need. But but the talent is the talent. Talent is the talent, right? I'm doing it. Ah, no, that's not smart, bro. That's not smart. Because we need a center. We don't need another point guard. We have 91 overall K Cunningham. We don't need a Sar Thompson, who is a 3-4. Who's our threes? J-Dub and Brandon Miller. We don't need that right now. Ah, we need a center. That's what we're here for. And we got it. We got the center that we need. We have the center that we need. What am I doing with trades for? K Cunningham plus these picks, man. Plus these picks. It's got to be something. We got, we should be able. Hold on. I'm going to try this. We should be able to with K Cunningham's uh, $40 million. Just throw Cade and all of these picks for like the top guy. That's $40 million. Like John ja Morant, we give them this Vaughn character who's actually not too bad. We just traded for him. No, the contracts, that's $2 million. The contracts won't work. Yes, there we go. Okay. They think they're a championship contender, but what if I gave you every pick in existence? Why do I only have a, a certain amount of slots that I could throw in the trade? They should just let me throw everything. They won't. That's the max we can give. All of this for Ant-Man. Deal. Okay. 
Okay, Ant-Man, welcome to the team. Um, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> Anthony Edwards is going to be coming off our bench. Oh, we lit. All right, there's Luka. Luka Doncic, welcome to the team. Yes, we gave up Jalen Duran in that trade. Yes, we did. Luka, Jokic, Wimby, Booker, J-Dub. Like, I, again, our backup front court is awful. And it's going to be so hard to make it better. But we just need one playable backup center. 80 overall. And we we done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. There's Trace Jackson Davis, who kind of fits that, but not complete. How many hot kicks? Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Uh, you're not safe, though. I'm sorry. Derek Lively. Boom. That's the center we needed. Okay. 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 It is Stojic, Devin Booker, J-Dub, Wimby, Jokic. Off the... B no, I'm sorry, Stojic. I'm sorry. That's... That's... This is Luka Doncic here. Why are they starting to... Trying to start the young fella? Um... Stojic, Brandon Miller, Derek Lively as our eight-man rotation, okay? If this ain't 80, this is the best constructed roster I have ever had. Ever, I think, I've ever had. We got every position of need. We got shooting. We got, look, 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 look. We have the third. Technically, we, we have two of the top one player in the league. They're tied. Then we got the second best player in the league. And the, like, come on. Wait, 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 wait. No, that doesn't make sense. We are tied for the best player in the league twice. Then we have the sixth best player in the league or tied for the fifth best player in the league. And it's like, come on, y'all. This is the team. Stojic's down here too, looking great. And it's 92. This is the team. Here we go. Um, Kobe White went to balls. I don't care. This is our chance, our final chance to go 82 and 0. So far, nobody has been close. You can feel the rotation, but don't you dare touch my rotation. You can, I mean, you can feel the team, but don't touch my rotation. I am as anxious as it can get. This has Jokic, Wimby, Luka, um, um, Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards. Come on, man. 14-0 to start. And only one team has been within 20 points, it looks like. Uh, two teams have been within 20 points. That's not good. Make that three teams. Been, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. It's a little, it's a little scary. No way. No way we lose to them. This is this is the team we, we started the video off with. This is Evan Mobley and LaMelo Ball. Oh, my God. No way we just lost to them. No way. No way. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. We, we, oh, my God, bro. That was our 82 and no challenge. Wait, why is it? Wait, 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 wait. It says we're 80. Wait, we're, we're 20 and 1. Why does it say we're 20 and 1? Did we? The game is just glitched out. Wow. I've never seen that before. It says we're 20 and 1, but I see two losses. First of all, we got two losses in one week. Like, this is chalked up. Um, again, I don't know how your favorite YouTuber has gone 82 and 0. You see my team? Do you see my team? If we could somehow re sign everybody, I'm trying it one more time. Again, I doubt we'd be able to re sign everybody, but I'm going to try it. And if we can, then I'll run it back. But I doubt it. So, here are the awards and stuff. It still said that we um, only lost one game. And, but y'all saw two. I saw two L's. I say that we were 81 and 1. Trust. I don't know why I didn't count that first L. It literally didn't count the first L. Uh, we're in the finals. Uh, we have not lost this entire way. And we win. Perfect. Cool. One last try, hopefully. We'll see. We have the third overall pick in this year's draft. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm not going to the draft. Just take whoever's best, man. Oh, my God. Is the rotation still set? Oh, we lost Anthony Edwards. Dang, dude. I didn't realize he was on the last year of his deal. Uh, wait a minute. Where is he then? What the heck? Where did he go? <laughs> Does he just not exist? Was he not on our team? No, I might be going crazy. I might be going crazy. They said last year he played for the Golden State Warriors. Am I going crazy? He was on my team. He was on my team, wasn't he? No, I'm going crazy. I must be going crazy. Yo, I'm 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 high key spooked. What the heck? What? No, we. Oh no, we traded Anthony Edwards for Luca. Right. Okay. All right. Never mind. Cause Luca was a warrior. Oh, okay. Work. Work. So actually, our team is pretty much the same. All right, cool. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Bro, that just freaked me out for a second. That just freaked me out. I was, I was, I was contemplating calling, calling my therapist to make sure I ain't losing it, but I ain't. I guess. Um, the rest of this doesn't matter. So, oh, we actually got room for one trade though. I ain't gonna lie to you. We got room for one trade. Give that third overall pick, Derek Lively, in our first round pick here. Get that. Yeah, we could go get Jared Allen. Yeah. So we will upgrade that position of need. There we go. So, yeah, we still run our same number of people in our rotation. Uh, and we move. We're going to bring in Torian Prince, even though we know he's going to progress. I don't care. We just need bodies. 
we, we need bodies. Sam Hauser, you can shoot. Maybe you're a specialist for us. Player progression, we should technically still be getting better. Technically. Ah, uh, Luka dropped by one. But Stojic jumped up. And then Brandon Miller jumped up. J-Dub stayed the same. There's a secondary chance, ladies and gentlemen. There's a secondary chance that this 82 and no challenge does end up happening. But this is the last chance we get. The last one. Will we make it happen? I'm, again, still a little bit afraid of it. Um, we're going to run. We got a new code. Hmm. Ime didn't resign, huh? He didn't resign, huh, Ime? Who else is available? James Borrego. We, I, I, uh, I think we're fine. Uh, just make sure the system ain't nothing crazy. I mean, you got this much talent. Do the system matter? Balanced system. Love it. Love it. We, we say balance is the most proficient system we got. All right, we cool, yeah. We cool. Again, it will be Luka Doncic starting and not the other guy. Um, and I will be making it so that Jokic plays as many minutes as possible. I will be making it uh, so that Luka plays as many minutes as possible. You know? And Wimby's at 30. That's not enough. I'm sorry, Stojic. You got to keep going down. Wimby's got to play at least 40. Yep. And yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the year, I hope. I'll make sure that... Does Stojic have a secondary position? Uh, he does. Yeah, he's a shooting guard. Cool. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Round two of the 82 and no challenge, baby. Um, let's hope it doesn't glitch out and say that we lost one game if we lost two. But if it's gonna glitch out and say we lost zero games, um, then 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 yeah, we we gonna take it. We gonna take it. We lost. <laughs> oh my God, we lost again, man. Jalen Green and Jaime Hawkins. <laughs> The Jaime Hawkins revenge game. He did it. He did it. Um, the problem is we saw Jokic foul out. And that... That... No. These just play one minute. That's not the problem. We got so much talent that it is what it is. 81 in one season. Again. Am I going to retire from 2K and have the record of 81 and one as my best? I feel like that's the case. I'm sorry. I feel like that's... Shout out to Jokic holding it down. Uh, we got the six man of the year. We got the DPOY. We got the Colts of the year at 81 and one. We have the MVP, the runner up for MVP. We have another all NBA player. We lost one game on the season. One game because Jaime Hawkins and Jalen Green. So sad to say that, um, that this is my last 82 and no challenge. And I, I technically failed it again. Um, even though we could run it back run it back one more year one more year N nothing here tells me that we shouldn't be able to run it back <laughs> one more year one more year yep one more year our entire rotation is still on the team <laughs> one more year run it back okay um but we can't just keep it's insanity if we keep the same team right j-dub in a pick is that gonna is that gonna bring us somebody that's better is Zion going to run the three? No, right? No way he runs the three, even though he's averaging 25 points per game. Um, no way he can run the three. No way he can run the three. No way he... They also won Jared Allen's trade. I can't do that trade. No way he runs the three. Okay, what about what about Brandon Miller? Can Brandon Miller, young self, get us somebody else? So there's I'm in Thompson. Same overall. It's not really an upgrade. Uh, Trey Finders buns. We, don't, we only have one first round pick to throw, so it's not like we got a lot to potentially do. What about Jared Allen? Nope. Um, obviously, we're not trading these top dudes because these top dudes are the best players in the world. So it's just about transitioning these these positions a little bit. And I don't, <laughs> you can't beat them, join them. Well, we they beat us, whatever. Ah, this is such a tough decision. Zion Williamson, welcome to the team, man. Wimby, you're running the three. Zion, oh no, Zion's overall goes up at the three. All right, Zion, you're running the three. We got negative added negative space into the team, but. We needed to change something. We need to change something, so we did that. And yeah, we got a downgrade from Clax from Jared Allen to Claxton, but it's worth it's worth it. Hopefully, hopefully, I mean, how much of a difference is it really? And so we not we not tripping about it, okay? Last chance, <laughs> last chance, you, last chance, you, for real, for real this time. I don't care if we lose the first game of the season. It, it's the la it's really the last chance. Zion dropped an overall. That's so beautiful for us. We now got an extra first round pick because the off is over. Anthony Edwards can run our five or three man. Anthony Edwards can run three. Anthony Edwards can run three. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anthony Edwards is running our three. Yes, we're giving up Nicholas Claxon for John Collins on that back end, but I don't care right now. Um Anthony Edwards is running our three position. Boom. 
So I also have, yeah, Brandon, I mean, John Collis is just not going to cut it. Maybe we don't have a backup center at all in the rotation. You know what I'm saying? We have Jokic and Wimby. They should be able to hold down the fort until they get into foul trouble. And at that point, I don't know what we do. I mean, we're not going to trade John away. He'll still be on the team in case we need some some injury minutes or, or some um, fouling minutes. But, yeah, we're not going to re really be able to upgrade him. Uh, so, instead of an eight-man rotation, it's a seven. And to get the minutes back up, this is the team. I want to make sure that Anthony Edwards has a backup position, too. I want to remind you what we're looking at as a team. As a team. Just remind you what we have. The best player in the world. Tied. These two dudes are tied. We also got him. We got him. And then we got him and him. Oh, no. We traded him away for him. But, 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 yo, if this does not get it done, then there is no such thing as 82 and no in my mind. If this does not get it done, 82 and no is impossible. 15 and no to start. Love it. No team has been really, really close. Except for that Pelicans team, but we already beat them twice, so we don't have to see them for some time. 22 and 0, baby. Here we go again, man. I need this one. I need this one more than anything. So I can say I did it. I can say I did it. We've been on December 14th for about 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. It was scaring me now. I thought I thought the Timberwolves had our number, but they don't, baby. 30 and 0 potentially ha coming up. 30 and 0. Wow. Wow. 32 and 0. 33 and 0. Come on. Come on. Here we go. This is the moment, man. Can we get to halfway at least? Can we? <laughs> Hello? Oh, I hate when it holds up on a single day. There it is. Wow. They put up 66 points. They put up 66 points to our 130. I, I want to say it's been like four minutes. We cannot get through the first week of January. We also, our profit is negative $1 billion. Let me make sure that's, yeah, negative $1 billion in profit. What owner is like, yeah, that's worth <laughs> That's worth it. We win the championships, but we're negative $1 billion. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, I ain't here to make profit. I'm here to go 82 and 0. You feel me? I'm not here to, 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 we're halfway through this. I'm not here to make profit. I'm here to go 82 and 0. And we are over halfway there. I have this, this piece of paper that said 81 and 1, praying that I don't need this and I can do it again and get 82 and 0. Please, man. 50 and 0 is on the horizon. Got to get through this week. There's the Wolves. Somehow, every time we go against the Wolves, we get a hold up. It's just going to take forever. We're at the trade deadline, and we haven't lost. 54-0. 55-0. All-star break completely undefeated, man. All-star break completely undefeated. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 20-ish games away from doing the, what had been impossible for the last six years. This will be the perfect way to go out, man. Please tell me we get it done. 66-0. 68-0. 69-0. Nice. 70-0. 71 and 0. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 10 games away, 9 games away, 8 games away, 7 games away, 6 games away. 4, 3, 2. We did it. We did it! 82 and 0. The first time in, in the history of this channel. We just, dang, big shoulder, boy, you swole. We just went, are you a guard? Yes, you are. You're too, you look, okay. We did it. We did it. We have three All-NBA first teamers. Three All-NBA first teamers. That is insane insanity, bro. Insanity. Only thing we need to do is go... Uh, go un, un lossless in the, in the, the... I can't even talk. I'm so... Can we go winless here? I mean, see, I can't even talk. Whoa! We just lost two games in the finals. To John ja Morant, 55 point. He averaged 42 in the playoffs. I don't care. Uh, it does kind of mute it a little bit. We didn't go completely undefeated on the season. But I don't care, man. 82 and 0 has been done by your boy. Jokic, Luka, Wimby, auto generated guy who's a stud, Booker, Anthony Edwards, Brandon Miller. Hell, John Collins, too. He only played a little bit, but he was efficient in it. Sam Morrell, Najee Marshall, y'all are forever. Caleb Martin, AJ Green, Jalen Pickett. Y'all are forever remembered in the KOT4Q 2K gaming uh, uh, lore. And for the doubters, because we ain't been able to do it ever before. All 50s. I cannot believe it. Oh, my God. Let me go get a piece of paper. We did it. We did it, man. Don't mind the handwriting. We did it for the first time ever. 
I think that's the perfect way. I think that's the perfect way. Um, what the next chapter looks like for this, I don't really know. I'm happy that we ended it on the bang. But hopefully y'all stick around for the content that I create. I'm going to be so happy about it. It's going to be good. Um, and I'll see y'all soon.